Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are drawing five characters from Adventure Time and we're going to unbox the new Sweet Pastels gel liner collection by Nails by Def. I actually won this in one of her giveaways on YouTube. Um, I didn't buy it so I am very excited. This is my first giveaway I've ever won so let's do it. Also, if you want to just go ahead and jump to the Our Adventure Time characters, just go to this time and you can just start drawing with me. All right, here we go, here we go. So this is the little card they give you with all of the swatches. Gorgeous, can't wait. And of course, the gel polish, as well, or the liner gels, I mean. <laughs> so liner gel, the difference between a liner gel and a gel polish is that the liner gels are a bit thicker, so they're perfect for line work, all that jazz. When I'm buying stuff and I have a budget, I have to, I don't prioritize the liners as much because I have the black, I have the white, and I have primary colors. So I'm like, I won't prioritize it. So I got the jellies instead. But then I saw she was doing this giveaway and I'm so excited. So I was able to get these and I cannot wait to use them. So here is them all lined up. They're pastels like the title says. And then first we're going to start. I'm going to show you guys how I open them. So this is strawberry milk. It comes nice and sealed like this. I just take um, an exacto knife knife please use one with a handle I just don't know where my handle was and if you use a dull one that's probably good too and I opened it these were sitting for a little while because I hadn't unpackaged them yet so they just look a little bit um I guess like separated but it's totally fine I just scrape the top off the thing and be careful if your exacto knife is sharp because I poked myself a few times and then I take my daughter tool mix it up and look good as new beautiful I love it so I did this with every color very excited because I just love seeing paint like in a pot like you know when you paint something you have like that big like when you paint your wall or something you just look at the color I feel like color looks the best in like this type of form you can just really see the color do not <laughs> I'm it's really weird but anyway so this is creamsicle that this one's banana smoothie the first one was strawberry milk like I said <laughs> and then this is lucky charm gorgeous this is not the color I have on my right hand because I did that before but I had a similar like regular gel polish and this is cotton candy such a beautiful blue mm, I love it and sweet lilac the perfect lavender I love her lilac I guess <laughs> I get those two colors mixed up but here they all are looking gorgeous and then here they are swatched I just did a quick little line work so you can see all of the colors together and I thought adventure time would be perfect to show as many colors as possible and we're just going to do a different character on each nail so let's get started all right, we're going in with Gel X today, and each nail is going to be a different one of her new jelly colors that matches whichever character is on that nail the best. So Lumpy Space Princess's Float Phone, um, Talk to the Hand is Princess Bubblegum, Troll Doll is Jake. Instant Messenger is gonna be Finn, and last of all, Blubber is going to be Bemo. So, this is going to be, I did two coats for this one. I did one coat for everything else, but the flubber, I did two coats because it was, oh, it's like not as opaque as the rest of them. So it's a little bit more sheer. And now we are going in and starting with Jake. I did all five characters and it wasn't bad because these are pretty simple characters. So it wasn't like too overwhelming to do, um, so many. Cause usually I do like two or three max, but we did five today and I had so much fun with it, honestly. And I'm going in this, I'm using my 15 millimeter brush again today. I found that using the 15 millimeter brush, I can make very skinny lines. Like Jake is probably like the thickest line character I have today, but we do some tiny, tiny characters today. So like Finn and Princess Bubblegum Bemo, they're all super, super tiny. So it was really fun because I, I like was intimidated by the really thin lines and all that skinniness. So I'm happy that I can now do that with characters. So first we have Jake, we're just getting him all shaped out. I wanted to make sure that I got most of his body in there. His his arms are really long, so I was not planning at all trying to get his whole wiggly arm in there. So I think this was a perfect placement and I'm just getting his shape and filling in all his shapes. Every night, every night, 
And Jake was perfect to start out with because he really has basically two colors. So we just were using creamsicle and now we're just using white to make the two eyeballs. I just used my biggest daughter tool and made a little circle and had the eyes the way that I wanted them. And now we're going back in with creamsicle. And this is just getting, just covering a little bit of the circles to make his little nose area. I think that's so much easier than trying to like make the circle have a little divot when you're drawing the eye. Just paint right over it, super easy. And now we're going right in with line work because he really, that's, those are his two main colors. <laughs> Oh, and I also want to note, so since we are using liner gel for the full body, usually I wouldn't do that, but you can do that. Um, you just have to make sure you're keeping the paint um, relatively thin. You don't want to be too thick. Otherwise, it won't, it might not cure properly. And you know, when you don't cure like real thick gel properly, it did that little wavy thing and then underneath isn't cured. You know what I mean? Um, but so you just make sure it's pretty thin. You have it a nice, like even layer and easy peasy you know so i really wanted to use these for the full body today and not just the liner so i made it work also in order to keep these lines the line weight that i want i just take a bit on my brush put it onto my palette and then just swipe my brush on my palette so that my brush is evenly coated and that keeps you from having like big globs of paint on your brush and having to like try to even it out like when you're drawing your character which you don't want to do you just want to have an even amount of paint on your brush and then start doing your line work and that's the easiest and as for circles these are still a little bit of a struggle for me but I kind of just go like corner by corner or like little bit by little bit so that you're not trying to draw a full circle at once so that is my suggestion for circles as well So here you can see I kind of messed up and that was fine with me like I knew it was too much black but it's just sometimes easier to just cover it with the color instead of trying to wipe it away because it's such a small space there's such thin lines so sometimes I just don't want to like risk sometimes wiping away my line work so this way was easier and you can't even tell so it's fine. His wiggly hand was very fun so I just took a really little bit um, of liner gel on my brush or you can just use like the black shading gel or whatever you want to do I wanted to kind of sketch it out to make sure I had the curve right and the placement right before I went in with like thicker lines so there we are I like it so now we're gonna go back in with those darker lines Now a few touch-ups here and there, make sure my line work is perfect all around. 
add his little tongue. That's another liner gel I'm using. I had those prior like I said. And we're top coating. And I always do two top coats for my characters. Keeps them smooth, keeps them safe. And here we go with Finn. So Finn, I really challenged myself here. Like usually I would zoom way in, but I wanted to keep him far away. These are short nails, but I also wanted to make sure you could see most of um, the character's bodies. And and it's funny because I feel like the proportion is a little bit off for Finn next to Jake, but we can just imagine that Jake is just in his giant form and it's fine. <laughs> so we're starting off with Finn. I'm just getting him placed the way I want. I'm using my white liner gel um, from her as well for filling in this. And then we will go in with the, um, oh my goodness, what is the name of the blue? Oh, Cotton Candy Duck. <laughs> we're going in with Cotton Candy next. And I know it's not the exact color of Finn's shirt, but I really wanted to lose her, her colors today. So we're going to make his shirt and you really can't even tell. So it's fine. Again, no one's ever comparing a picture right next to your nail. So things don't have to be perfect. Do not worry. Here I'm going in with Baby Doll, which is the complexion collection by Nails by Dev as well. Just to reiterate, this is not sponsored. I just have a lot of her products that I do like to use and I would love it if it ever was sponsored. <laughs> but here we are going with Baby Doll, filling in Finn's face. It's just a very light pinky undertone skin color. It's the lightest one in the collection, um, which I realize I have to use for characters a lot. Like Powerpuff Girls, him, like the lightest shade, it really is helpful. This is where I was like, wow, I, this is, I was stressing myself out a bit, to be honest, because his arm is so skinny and I was like, mm, I'm doing this skinny and the line work is going to have to be around this arm. So I was really, I was just going for it at this point, but it worked out great and everything looks really good. And I'm so happy with them. But anyway, I'm doing the arms, his little noodle arms and just getting them in the shape that they're needed. Um, yeah, they're really just little skinny noodles. For his pants, I just went in with one of my D&D &D colors. I'm pretty sure I mixed it. I cannot read. I just mixed a little bit of my D&D &D colors to get the pants to match the picture. I did end up doing a second coat on his arms with the baby doll color just because it was a little bit too sheer for me. You could see the difference between like on his elbow, like you can see from his shirt to the outside. So I just did a whole second coat on it. And now we're going in with Lucky Charm for the backpack and just making the whole shape. I'm not doing any half and half. I'm just doing the whole shade, whole shape green. And then I'm actually going to go in with Flubber, the jelly color to shade it. So that second half is the darker green color. And that worked out really well. And that's one of the main reasons I got the jellies because I they are perfect for shading. I've seen people use them for shading. I've seen Nails by Dev and Ball Pit both use them for shading. And I just thought that was so amazing. And it's really worked out clearly today as well. <laughs> This is definitely the tiniest little mouth I've ever drawn. So cute and tiny. I'm just trying to get like that kind of like kidney bean type of shape for his mouth. Mm -hmm. 
And here's me going in with Flubber for that second half of the backpack. I do two coats of it and then I just fix up his little sleeve right here. And soon we're gonna get ready for that line work. So the arms for the line work was definitely the trickiest part, but again, you can just go over it with um, that color underneath. So I'll go over it with baby doll just a little bit to make sure certain spots are perfect and they have their line work the way that I want them. But it was just so much fun. I'm so happy that I tried this brush because I really feel like I have, um, I can make my lines a lot skinnier. So make sure you try different brush sizes. Um, before you like commit, like super commit to one because I definitely was committed to my nine millimeter, which I still love, but but honestly, I should have tried this one sooner. I had just had this one laying around and I'm so happy that I tried it and it's working out for me. So here you can see that I definitely made his eyes bigger and since he's so small on my nail I thought it was okay that his eyes be a little bit bigger than they are in the picture. He still looks like thin but I do think it's just better overall for like the composition of my nail for it to just be him just to be a little bit bigger. And there Finn is all complete and beautiful. And we just put our top coat on. Ooh! And again, I'm using my D&D top coat that I get from my local nail store. And now we are jumping right into Princess Bubblegum. She's so pretty. I love this color too. Talk to the hand. It is so bright. I love it so much. So we're going right in with Princess Bubblegum. I'm just shaping out her hair to begin with. I wanted her to be similar in size to Finn. And it was so funny because I was like, Jake looks ginormous at this point, but it's fine. <laughs> He matches kind of with um, um, Lumpy Space Princess, so it's all right. So I'm first going in, shaping, um, getting um, her all placed. This is a D&D &D mixture, a D&D &D color mixture I did myself. It ended up being a little too light. It matched um, the strawberry milk liner too much because I'm using the strawberry milk liner for her face, but it matched it too much. So I ended up just, there you go, going in with the second coat that was much closer to her actual hair color. So there you go. You guys can watch that.
Here I'm using my primary gel liner, which is the yellow. I thought the bubble gum would be too pastel for this. So I just do her crown with my bright primary yellow. It's just a little darker and deeper. So it kind of works as a gold a lot of the times in cartoons. And there we go on top I wanted to make sure it was a good fit her little top of her crown fit perfectly and now here we're going in with our strawberry milk and we're just making her head and thank goodness her face has almost no detail because this was a very small face so if there was any complicated eyeballs in here I would have been very scared but very simple face so we just fill that in get her placed the way we want and we'll move on to her dress next Now we're going in, of course, with our daughter tool for the sleeves. Whenever you can use a daughter tool to make a circle, I highly suggest it. It is much easier than trying to draw a circle. So I just do the daughter tool and then I can just start pulling colors and placing where they need to go. This pink is so beautiful and I love that her dress is pretty much neon pink, but I absolutely love it. It goes very well with our background color. And now we're just going to finish filling in all the pink and then come in with the details after that. Now we're going in with our line work. I think the order that I did these characters really benefited me in just prepping. You know, like you just do like an easier character and then go to a more complicated character. It's like you're warmed up. So I feel like Jake really warmed us up for Finn and Princess Bubblegum. So that was perfect. And now we're just going in. Remember, just evenly coat your brush, the tiniest little lines, and it works out. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. I do not want to take these ones off.
guilty. Just the simplest little face. But again, here I did zoom in, like make the face a little bit bigger just because I feel like it would look better um, because it was much, it's a little bit tinier than this in the picture. <laughs> and now we're starting BMO. I think I was most excited for BMO and um, to do BMO because he's just so freaking cute. And him and Princess Bubblegum, to be honest. Um, but I thought he would be perfect for the pinky, a little tiny pinky. And we just start off by color blocking his colors. Um, I only use the liner gel for his face because the only one that was even close was Lucky Charm. The other colors just weren't that close. So I just mixed my other colors and we started with BMO. But I feel like I had to do BMO because my other option was going to be, oh my gosh, the lemon. I've, let me look up his name. Okay, so Earl of Lemon Grab. Yeah, I he was the other option, but I was like, I feel like I can't not do BMO. And I really wanted to do purple. So Lumpy's Face Princess. So um, he's just gonna have to be on another one and we can show off the, the yellow a different day. We use a little bit of the yellow on BMO, but not much, but it's okay. So we just go in, we're making our rectangle in perspective for BMO. And I just, like I said, mix the colors for this. So you guys can watch me fill the rest of BMO in. And here is Lucky Charm, gorgeous, gorgeous. I did it very thin. I think I ended up doing two coats here just to make sure it was nice and even. One quick note, if you ever do are doing a square and square like I'm doing here, just make sure you, all your lines are parallel to each other and it just gives a nice and um, finished and perfected type of look. So just make sure, that's what I did on my second coat. I kind of just perfected the direction of the lines we're going. And here we're going in with a little periwinkle d d color to do the arms and the legs of BMO. Here to spell out BMO's name on the side, I actually use one of the jelly colors. I'm using Instant Messenger. Looking back and when I was doing it, like I was like basically finished, I was like, I probably should have used, um, my lips are teal. I think that would have been a better choice because it's more of like a green more greeny blue than it is just straight blue. So I actually go over that a little bit to get a little bit of a green tone. But yes, I would, if I did this again, I would use my lips are teal instead of instant messenger for this part. So this is where we use our, is this banana? Oh my gosh, this isn't even banana. Never mind. This is the yellow. I, I actually do think I used the b banana smoothie on Lumpy Space Princess, not BMO, actually. My bad. And now we're just filling in all the little bits and bobs on BMO. And again, I was very intimidated by the line work, but we did it and it turned out great. So, and I just did line work where I felt it was needed. And if it wasn't needed, I just kind of left it. So if you ever have to do super tiny dots like this, I would just get the tiniest bit like a try to get a glob, glob, which is not usually what I say, but try to get a glob at the very end of your brush. And then you can just dot it really tiny. So, cause the daughter tool, like even my tiniest daughter tool does not get that tiny. And then we just did the cute little face. And now we're doing the line work and BMO is almost done. So I was debating since he's so small to make the pieces 
3D and I only made the triangle 3D and I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm going to make the little cross 3D. So just the triangle is a little 3D, but it's fine. Don't even worry about it. And Bimo is done just like that. Looking so cute. I feel like Bimo's gonna be a lot of people's favorite. <laughs> and now we're going in with Lumpy Space Princess. So I definitely wanted to use the purple that we had. And I'm basically just do a lot of Lumpy Space Princess with my daughter tool because there's so many lumps on Lumpy Space Princess. So it's the easy peasy choice. So you just fill in all of Lumpy Space Princess. This is more size comparable to like Jake. So. And I just thought it would be perfect for the thumb. And I usually don't do characters on the thumb, but now I think I'm going to have to do that because I just love looking down at my hand and having a character on every hand. So I'm probably just going to have to do the most moving forward. <laughs> but I think I'm going to start doing characters on the thumb because it's, it's very cute. Now we are finally using banana smoothie. So I just did a cute little star right at the top, very thin to start with, just to get as sharp as I could for the star and just filled the rest in. I actually was very extra and I do do a yellow outline or like a darker yellow outline around the star because you can kind of see it on the little picture. There is the tiniest little yellow outline and you know, I'm just an extra person. I know it's there, so I gotta do it. <laughs> And now for the mouth, this is another great beginner character because there's really just like one main color and then just a little bit of a secondary color, but that's easy. And now is the mouth. For the teeth, I just did the full dots to get the white teeth and then just painted back over with the lilac because it's just so much easier than trying to do half a circle that tiny. So just the full circles and then paint over it, it's super easy. And then we're gonna do the line work, the line work, the line work. And I just love the liner gels because they're all super consistent. They're all the same, like you don't have to worry about like the black being like a different texture than the colors or something like that. You don't have to worry about that at all. They're just super nice. I freaking love them. I usually don't use them for whole characters, but it was nice today because I was a little bit worried that when I did a whole patch that it was so thick that it was going to cure kind of um, bumpy, but it didn't cure that bumpy. Like it was just like kind of like regular nail polish. It kind of leveled itself out once you put it in there and it was sitting there curing just leveled itself out was fine. And as you guys can see, when that top coat gets on there, you cannot see the bumpiness at all like usual. So easy peasy. I tried so hard to keep me myself from going upside down for you guys, but at that point it was just too much. So sorry, we had to go upside down for a second. Yeah, here I'm like straining my hand, but it just, it's more satisfying. I feel like when, when it's not upside down. So I tried my best.
and lumpy space princess is done and we have all five characters using our liner dolls i absolutely love them i actually love the length i usually don't do my nails this short but i had super long nails before this the chromity my melody i just could not do it so we did some short nails today and i hope you guys love them so much and don't forget to subscribe request some stuff like the video and i'll see you guys in the next one